We live in a society where to be transgressive is paradoxically the ultimate way to be a conformist. And I think that uh, we should accept this, log this logic. That is to say that all these aspects described by some postmodern theorists of nomadic subjectivity, undermining every fixed identity and so on, this is the structure of subjectivity which fits perfectly into uh, global capitalism. So it's, uh, the conclusion from this is not what some of friends of mine accuse me of, a pessimistic one, like whatever you do, it will be in advance co-opted, so you can do nothing. No, it's a more paradoxical situation. It is that it's not so much that all transgressive acts can be co-opted, because when you say co-opted, it means that something that had a transgressive acts was secondarily co-opted. I think that it's part of the game, literally. So maybe, I tend to claim, one way to do it would have been to follow the letter of the law without these transgressions. Maybe this would be, in a way, much more subversive. Although, again, even this, I admit, it can be part of the game. Like, uh, isn't it now that if you now, for example, at the level of sex life, if you try to return today to the old manners, rituals of traditional courtship and so on, it no longer works the way it was. It becomes another game. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not saying that at this level you cannot do it. But nonetheless, I claim that uh, actually the obstacles are elsewhere. When we think about how to break out of the existing ideological space, we should abandon these terms of transgression and so on and so on. And here, psychoanalysis, I claim, can be of some help.